This is a message from the Lord our God to Michael Eden. The Lord spoke this message through me in this last hour. I am nothing without Christ. In 2009-19, I was saved by the grace of God. It is not me that lives, but Christ that lives in me. And I am honoured that the Lord our God is using me to speak his words, his messages, into the lives of some of the most prominent, some of the most influential and some of the most powerful people walking the earth. Heavenly Father, I thank you and I praise you for my life, for the calling upon my life. Thank you for saving me by grace in 2019. Thank you, Father, for the lives of all my family members, my extended family members. Thank you, Father, for the lives of all my brothers and sisters, for those listening to these words now, for those that you have brought and connected to me in any way with anything that I've been sharing in this last two years. What I have shared has been to glorify you, to shine light into the darkness and to, and to share what you are doing upon the earth. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. For it is written, Matthew 7, 7, ask and you will receive. Father, I ask in the name of Jesus that every one of your children that you will lead to come and to listen to this message, not just Michael Eden, but to everyone else who will hear these words. Father, I ask in the name of Jesus, if you haven't already lifted the veil, I ask you to lift the veil. I ask that the scales may fall from their eyes. May you give every single one of your precious children that you are bringing through your spirit to listen to these messages from you, Lord. May you set the captives free. May you give every single man, woman and child the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are the Prince of Peace. And the peace that you give is a gift the world cannot give us. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for reaching down to the bottom of the deepest, darkest ocean and rescuing me from all my enemies in 2019. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that having battled with my mental health for 25 years, I now live with your peace, which surpasses all understanding, which guards my heart and my mind in Christ Jesus, my Lord and Saviour. Thank you, Father. And I give you all the glory, praise and honour for what you are doing upon the earth. As you are lifting the veil, as you are pouring out your Holy Spirit, as you are removing the scales from the eyes of your children, because we have all been lied to and deceived throughout our entire lives, our parents, our grandparents, for generations and generations. Father, you have allowed the sin of man to permeate and to pollute all areas of society. But Father, we thank you because you are sovereign, you are righteous and your wrath and your judgment has begun. You have started now to send the locusts out into the lives of the perpetrators of evil, doing the things that you detest, lying, murdering innocent people, those with hearts that plot evil, those that sow discord in the family, Father, all those, because you know all things, you see all things. So we just give you all the glory, praise and honour, Father, for what you are doing, for choosing me and every man, woman and child who will listen to any of the messages that I have been sharing in this last two years. You have chose us all to be free and who the sun sets free is free indeed. Your will be done, Father, on earth as it is in heaven. And Father, now I just lift up to you every single man, woman and child walking the earth who hasn't yet received you as their Lord and Saviour because as your word says, Father, every knee will bow. And confess with their tongue that you, Lord, are the Lord our God. And Father, in 1 Timothy 2, your word is that you want everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. So Father, I lift up to you now, every single man, woman and child walking the earth who hasn't yet surrendered their life to you. Who hasn't yet received you, Lord, as their Lord and Saviour. 
And particular, Father, those living in deep, dark sin with a love of money, which is a root of all evil. Father, I ask you to help them. I intercede on their behalf. I pray for them, Father. I say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do because they were once innocent babies that you had formed and you were created in their mother's womb and that you brought forth on the day, on the day they were born. But through their experiences during childhood and through their life, they have been polluted by sin, by lies, by deception, by evil, by a love of self, by a love of money. But they were once innocent little babies. We just give you all the glory, praise and honour, Father. And we just say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Set the captives free, Father. Set the captives free. We thank you and we praise you for what you are doing upon the earth. We thank you and we praise you, Father, for choosing each and every one of us before you created the heavens and the earth for what we are living in and through. We thank you that your hand is mighty upon us. We thank you that we are chosen and not forsaken, that you have put your spirit in us and the spirit that is in us is greater than the spirit that is in the world. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Father, because your perfect peace expels all fear. Your perfect love, your unfailing love, is for each and every one of me and my brothers and sisters. Thank you for your love, for your peace. And I thank you and I praise you now for your word, Lord, to Michael Yeadon. And I give you all the glory, praise and honour for everything to come in Michael's life. Hallelujah. I pray all this in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. <clears throat> Michael Eden, this is the Lord your God. I have called you by name. You are mine, Michael Eden. You are chosen and not forsaken. Before I created the heavens, and the earth, I planned out every day of your life and every single member of your entire family through your whole family bloodline. You are fearfully and wonderfully made in my image. Everything you have is because of me. Everything that you have done is because of me. All of your talents, your integrity, your tenacity, your willingness to take a stand, all of these attributes are because I The Lord your God have given you all your attributes. Michael, my beloved Michael, I have you and every man, woman and child walking the earth in the palm of my hand. My plans for your life, Michael, and the plans for the lives of every single one of my children that I will lead to listen to my words now. My plans for your lives are plans for good and not for disaster. 
to give you a future and a hope. Before I created the heavens and the earth, I planned for you, Michael, to shine light into the darkness, for you to expose the corruption, for you to take a stand against planned and perpetrated evil. And now, my beloved Michael, I am calling you to receive me as your Lord and Saviour. I am now Lifting the veil, Michael. As you receive my words, I am lifting the veil and the scales are falling from your eyes. And I am now giving you the eyes to see and the ears to hear. I have numbered every hair on your head. My thoughts for you and all my precious children walk in the earth outnumber the grains of sand on the seashore. You have not been fighting flesh and blood enemies. This is a spiritual battle. My people, the men, the women, the children, and you, my beloved Michael, and all your family, you have all been lied to and deceived throughout your entire lives. But now, as my grace and my mercy and my patience against rulers, against leaders who have been living in sin with a love of money which is the root of all evil, My grace and my patience and my mercy has now come to an end. My wrath and my judgment has truly begun. And Michael Yeadon, I have placed you in precisely the place where you are today. Because I, the Lord your God, I am going to be using you in mighty, mighty, mighty ways. Michael Yeadon and all my children who are hearing my words, you have not seen anything yet. I have begun pouring out my spirit upon my children. Rivers of living waters has begun coming like a tidal wave that is going to turn into a tsunami upon the earth. Truth and justice is coming. My divine justice is coming. I am lifting the veil on the, from the eyes of my precious children and you Michael and all your family I am calling you all now to repent to turn to me to receive me as your Lord and Saviour and to publicly share that I Jesus Christ am your Lord and Saviour once You declare that you have surrendered your life to me. I will flood your life with my spirit, with my living waters, with my glory. And your eyes haven't seen, 
your ears haven't heard and your mind hasn't conceived what I, the Lord your God, have got planned for you, my beloved Michael Yeadon. your head with oil my hand is mighty upon your life Michael I have had my divine protection upon you during the last two years and you can do all things through me who gives you strength. I have given you experiences. First hand experiences. Of the pharmaceutical industry. Of the health care. And you have seen. industry of the healthcare system and you have seen with your own eyes the corruption the lies the deception the evil and the love of money which is the root of all evil and I the Lord your God the Alpha and the Omega. For my glory, I am exposing all sins, all the deceptions that have been upon my people, you and your family, for generations and generations and generations. I am destroying all deceptions. The deception of the Big Bang. The deception of the universe. The deception of the Milky Way. The deception of galaxies. The deception of the shape of the Earth. The deception of gravity. The deception of men walking on the moon. The deception that comes from NASA. The deception that comes from the Freemasons. The deceptions that come from the Jesuits. The deceptions within my church. The deception of man-made religion the deception of the new age movement the deception of evolution deception after deception after deception I have seen enough I am destroying every single deception I am awakening my people, the men, the women, and the children. My army is rising up. My Davids, my Eshers, my Pauls, my Davids. And I have called you by name, Michael Yeadon, to be one of my Davids. Taking the heads off Goliaths within the pharmaceutical industry, within the healthcare system, and within mainstream media. My 
beloved Michael Yeadon. And all my children whom I will lead to receive my words now. Fire is going to come from your tongue as you speak my word, as you declare my word, as you decree my word. In your prayers, fire is going to be coming to destroy the powers and principalities of darkness. I, the Lord your God, the Lord of heaven's armies, I am opening up the heavens and blazing coals of fire have begun raining down to destroy strong men, powers, principalities of darkness. The spirit of pharmacia is going to be destroyed, says I, the Lord of heaven's armies. My beloved chosen servant, Michael Yeadon. There is a special, important calling upon your life from me. to be using you, Michael, to expose the evil that is tablets for people who have been diagnosed with a mental illness. due to the spirit of pharmacia and through all the deceptions that have been upon my people that I have allowed I have watched more and more and more of my children men, women and children be diagnosed with a mental illness and then put on tablets for their mental health. But now, in 2022, as I am lifting the veil and as I am removing the scales from millions and millions of what is going to become Billions of men, women and children walking the earth. I will be showing my people that I am the Prince of Peace. And the peace that I give you is a gift the world cannot give you. And my peace surpasses all understanding and guards the hearts and minds of my beloved precious children in me Christ Jesus Michael Yeadon I am going to be using you mightily to expose what is 
at the very root cause of mental health affliction, depression, anxiety, bipolar, schizophrenia, PTSD, fear, paranoia. The root of all these diagnosed mental health afflictions that lead mental health professionals to prescribe tablets. The root cause of all of these is separation from me, the Lord their God. But in 2022, I have only just begun destroying the evil that is tablets for mental health. I am setting the captives free. I am reaching down to the bottom of the deepest, dark, darkest oceans and I am rescuing my lost children. I am rescuing them from all their enemies. I am the mighty warrior that saves. I am the one that breaks the iron bars. I am the chain breaker. I am the one who sets the captives free. I am the one who gives my people my peace. Which is a gift the world cannot give you, Michael. And a gift that the world cannot give any man, woman and child. Now, 2022. The year that I planned before I created the heavens and the earth. To pour out my spirit upon my children. To lift the veil. To remove the scales. To send the locusts into the lives of those who have been living in deep, dark sin. Those with a love of money which is the root of all evil. My wrath and my judgment is coming. And there is nothing anyone can do about it. No amount of money can stop what I have already begun. And you, my beloved Michael Eden, you are going to be glorifying me. You are going to be worshipping me in spirit and in truth. I am going to be filling you with my love, with my joy, with my peace, with revelations. You are going to be praying and interceding. I have appointed you, Michael Yeadon, to be a prophet to the nations. And through your words of prayer, alongside my other mighty, mighty men, women and children in my army, you are going to be seeing powers and principalities of darkness utterly, utterly, Destroyed. All for my glory. Because I am the King of glory. I am the King of kings. I am the Lord of lords. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. I am the first and the last. I am the true vine. I am the bread of life. And you, Michael Yeadon, and every single one of my precious children, you don't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from my mouth. I am the light of the world. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. And my beloved Michael Yeadon, and all my children, who will be receiving my words I speak now. I am the author and the finisher of your faith. And you are chosen and not forsaken. My will be done on earth as it is in heaven. For I, the Lord of heaven's armies, has spoken. Heavenly Father, I thank you and I praise you for everything that you are doing. Thank you, Lord, for using me as a vessel. I am nothing without you, Jesus. You are my Lord and Saviour. 
It is you where I get my strength from. I can do all things through you who gives me strength. It is not I that live, but that you, Jesus, that lives in me. And Father, I just, as I just lift up to you now, my brothers and sisters, those that you have brought on to hear these words, Father, whether live or at some stage in the future, I just ask you to pour out your Holy Spirit upon them, Father. May they be filled with your Holy Spirit and may through their faith in you, through their faith in you, God, may rivers of living waters flow from their bellies into all the dry wastelands of their life. Miracles, signs and wonders are coming. Breakthrough is coming. I declare it and I decree it. I thank you and I praise you, Father, for lifting the veil. And for the scales falling from the eyes of all your chosen men, women and children. And we just stand on your word in 1 Timothy 2, Father, because you want everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. So I just pray for everyone now. Every man, woman and child walking the earth. Every baby. Bless all people. Father, for those living in deep, dark sin. Father, do what only you can do. Convict them of their sins. Shake them to their very core. Awaken them, Father. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do because they were all once innocent babies that you brought forth from their mother's womb. But they, through sin, have been corrupted, deceived, they've lied, they've hurt. Forgive everyone, Father. Forgive everyone who has ever hurt anyone. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for choosing me, my entire family, and choosing all my brothers and sisters that you have led through your spirit to listen to any of the Facebook lives that I have done over the last two years. I give you all the glory, all the praise, and all the honour, Father, for everybody's life and for all the prayers that you have begun answering in the most profound ways in 2022 and for every prayer that you are going to be answering each and every day as we move through February 2022 and beyond. You are the promise keeper. You are the way maker. You open doors that no man can shut and you shut doors that no man can open. Thank you, Father, for making a way in the wilderness. Thank you, Lord, that you are our provider, our Jehovah Jireh. May my brothers and sisters all, like me, seek the kingdom of God first and your righteousness and all else will be given unto us. I pray all this in faith, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen.